Hello everyone and welcome to your Chem 113 review on electron transition states. My name is Jason and I work for the ASU Tutoring Centers. So in this problem, our electron is transitioning from n equals 2 to n equals 4. Uh, what does that mean? What is n? Uh, n is what we call the principal quantum number. It has quantum in the name. That's how you know it's fancy. The principal quantum number. And what the principal quantum number uh, essentially denotes, it denotes the, the orbit the electron is in. So by convention, n equals 1. This is closest to uh, the nucleus. So again, if you were to think of electrons as orbiting, um, as orbiting around the nucleus, sort of like planets, which they don't, but if you were to think of them that way, think of n equals one as being the orbit of like Mercury. It's the closest to the sun. And then as you go further and further out, you get, you know, n equals two, n equals three, n equals four. As you go further out, you, you start getting like Mercury, and then this is Venus's orbit, and then Earth, and Mars, and on and on and on. So um, we call this, if an electron is at n equals one, we call that uh, a ground state. This is the ground state of an atom. Okay. Uh, but as n increases, we say the electron is getting excited. So the, the, the atom is getting into an excited state. So, so as n increases, you get further, further, from the center, from the nucleus, um, and you are entering an excited state. The electron is getting excited. And, and what that means is, is the electron is absorbing energy. It's gaining more energy. The further you get away from the nucleus, the more energy you have. If you've taken um, physics before, think of that as, as sort of, um, what's the word, like potential energy, the potential for something to happen. As you get further and further away from the nucleus, once you bounce back to the nucleus, once you come back to the ground state, you're gonna release a lot of energy. So the further you get away, you're like building up that energy for you to come crashing back down to the center. Okay, okay. so first question, is energy being absorbed? So we are going from n equals two to n equals four. We are getting further from the nucleus. And as I just mentioned, you can think about, as you get further from the nucleus, you can think about that as you building up the energy to come crashing down and release it all. So what's happening here is you are absorbing energy. So if you increase your transition state, so if you go from a lower number to a higher number, you are absorbing. If you go the other way around, a higher number to a lower number, you are releasing. Okay. So this, this question, we can just do theoretically. We don't even need some type of formula or anything like that. Now, the next one is asking for a specific number, how much energy is being absorbed. So we know energy is being absorbed, but how much of it is being absorbed? And for this, we actually do have an equation for it. It looks very complicated, but, but stick it out. Um, delta E, so the change in the energy is negative 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18 joules times this fraction minus this fraction. One over n sub f squared minus one over n sub i squared, where, where n sub i is the initial uh, electron state and n sub f is the final electron transition state, okay? Uh, so in our particular case, we start at n equals two, so this would be one over two squared, and we end at n equals four, so that'd be one over four squared. We do the subtraction, we do the multiplication, and we get E as 4.09 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. So what this represents is it represents how, how much energy is being absorbed during this transition. So this is the equation you use when you transition between electron energy states, okay? That's the equation. So it's another important one to know, some classes do not go over it. So if your class did not go over this equation, uh, you likely do not need to know it, but um, some classes do go over it. So, so it's a nice refresher. So there you go.
Um, but, but really the, the major important part is just understanding whether the energy is being absorbed or released. So if you go from low to high, it's absorbed. If you go from high to low uh, electron energy level, it is released. Okay. Wonderful. Well, uh, thank you for watching. As I mentioned, I work for the tutoring centers uh, here at ASU. If you want more information about the free tutoring services available on all four major ASU campuses and online, please check out tutoring.asu.edu slash content slash tutor dash search. At this link, you'll be able to find a tutor um, on your campus or online that'll be able to help you with your specific course. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.